killer. Alright, so forward to episode 38, I went into the episode already thinking that it was going to be like a, a moderately okay episode just based off of the previews that we got last week, uh, which I actually forgot like the first like, t uh, like, like not 10 minutes of the episode, but like the first like, like 30 seconds of the episode and I remembered like after like the intro for the for the for the episode I, I remember what they were and they didn't explicit explicitly say like what was gonna happen in this week's episode but we get obviously more you know confirmed info obviously because this is the episode that we got previews of last week and so basically Sauron is fucking mad because <laughs> Sauron is mad because um she just doesn't want to be on the same thing, not the same thing, same team with Boruto, right? Boruto doesn't really care either way, but Sarada really doesn't want to be on the same team with Boruto because her whole thing is like, oh, my, my dream is to become Hokage, and if I have Boruto on my team, then it's just going to be a distraction. I'll never become Hokage, Hokage, Hokage. I'm like, can you shut the hell up? <laughs> like, with that, like... Like the reason why Boruto, not Boruto, the reason why Naruto didn't get like overly annoying with that is because he didn't always mention it in like every other like like two or three episodes. At least I don't think so, from as, as far as I can remember, right? And plus, it, it, with him, it, it just we wanted to root for him. We wanted to root for him to be Hokage because it made sense. That's how his character was driven to kind of be as with Sarada it's just like yeah your your dad is Sasuke Uchiha you have nothing to, you, it just feels like there's no like motive we I, I feel like I can't like you know like root for Sarada to, to do anything right I don't know where I'm going with this with this video but whatever right so the whole premise of the episode the whole plot is that Sarada's like yeah I don't want to be on the same scene with Boruto she knows like okay well there's an appeal that you can do and you need to take the scroll over to lord seventh and if you do that you'll be replaced on a different team so the whole episode uh boruto and sarada are trying to take this appeal to you know obviously naruto because he's the hokage and obviously to get a little bit of a bump in a road and i'll get into that beforehand or after i say that i thought it was really funny that they seen that they did in the beginning before they announced all the teams. Uh, they kind of teased and did like a kind of like a throwback to when uh, Naruto and Sasuke and they were like kind of like looking down at each other and they were kind of like pissed off at each other for no stupid reason. And then uh, you remember that scene like in like episode like three or something like that in Naruto part one where. Naruto and Sasuke accidentally kissed each other. Well, they kind of teased and kind of tried to do a throwback with Boruto and Sarada, but instead of them, you know, obviously kissing, Sarada actually somehow manages to lift her leg up above her fucking head, and Boruto kisses her fucking shoe. So, that was cool. <laughs> I I said I was gonna stop swearing in my videos or try and to you know cut back on it, but obviously I haven't kept my word, so I apologize for that. But yeah, so the whole episode is them trying to you know get this appeal over to, to Naruto because Sara doesn't want to be on Team Three, and Team Three consists of obviously Porto, Sarada, and Mitsuki. So it's like yeah and yeah, so. Remember, if you saw the last video that I posted like a couple couple days ago, uh, and the, obviously the episode that aired last week, uh, the preview showed that Asuma and Kuranai's, you know, kid, uh, whose name I would say, but I hate butchering names because I get mad at myself for that. So she kind of like steps up and was like, "Yeah." If you want to get past this bridge, you're gonna have to have to fight me first because apparently this is a thing that happens like every year. Like I don't know if that's supposed to be like a like a reference to 
just like something that I don't know that it happened or that was mentioned in the manga that I just have no idea what it is or it's because of like Sasuke or Naruto or whatever where like yeah I don't want to be on the team with him or whatever I don't know if it's supposed to be like a reference towards that but apparently something like how like uh, pe like ninja don't want to be on on a team so they have to go through just like appeal bs right and they keep mentioning like oh yeah it's happening again yada 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 right and no one's like surprised about it so it's like really weird i'm not really understanding like why they're kind of like oh yeah whatever right uh Fun fact, in the episode, Mitsuki's actually like, oh, it's not Team 7? Why is it not Team 7? It makes more sense to be Team 7 because Ina Shikicho, that, they were like Team 10 because it made sense. Duh, duh, duh. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't really know where I'm going with this, but yeah. So Team 3, which consists of Boruto, Sarada, and Mitsuki, they're Sensei. Your teacher is Konohamaru, which, you know, we already kind of knew that if you watched the Boruto movie. So they're kind of fighting on the bridge. And then, you know, they realize that they actually worked better as a team than Sarada actually kind of, like, noticed either way. So ultimately, she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to, like, bother with the appeal. Uh, I'm, you know, if Boruto does something stupid, the team is disbanded, whatever, just whatever that else BS happens uh, and then she's like actually I do have a request that I want to make and basically it's the request to make him team 7 because they want to approve upon the last team 7 da -da -da, right whatever so I, I, I don't really know what else to say not a lot really happened I was watching the whole episode and it ended like really quickly it ended a lot faster than I thought it was going to I feel like there's a, there a lot more that was supposed to happen that didn't. I I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> Overall, the episode was okay. You know, it wasn't a great episode, but it wasn't an awful episode either. The animation was pretty good. Uh, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know. Next week, though, is going to be very interesting, though, because in the previews, they show that we're going to see a lot of backstory with Mitsuki, which should be interesting, and I'm really excited for it, so hopefully it's not just like, like, oh, yeah, duh, right, there's like, some, like, stuff happens, and the reason why he kind of is whatever right i hope it's not like a generic like thing they, they always kind of do with other characters who, that have information that we don't really know about but we do see orochimaru next week we do see a, uh, him interacting uh with mitsuki a lot more so next week with the whole like backstory and like back information that we should know about him next week should be pretty interesting um actually i don't even know they're going to be uh, airing it, it next week because uh, well they might actually because uh, you know next next week is what the 27th yeah next week is the 27th uh, they'll probably still air it either way and the reason why I, I was kind of like curious about it is because uh, Christmas is this Monday if you didn't know for whatever reason and uh, fun fact of the day uh, De uh, December 27th is actually Hin Hinata Hyuga's birthday Fun fact, if you didn't know that already. So, anyways, <laughs> I got nothing else really to say. I didn't want this video to be probably as long as it is, uh, if it's as long as I think it's going to be. A uh, mistake on my part, because I just ramble on for s stupid fucking reasons. <laughs> anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And be sure to push that bell so you get notifications every single time I go upload so you never miss a new video I'll see you guys next time and I'm out